Howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome back to Hoot and a Half. I'm your host, Matt King, with my co-host here, Mike Sheffer, and my two other co-hosts from Good <laughs> Influences, Carly and Contro and Aaron Guilfoy. We just recorded a great episode of uh, Good Influences, and Mike and I were going to record at like 1 p.m., but we said, you know what? Are y'all down to stay? They said yes. So, so we're, we're just going to hop well, like, in a hoot and a half. Actually, jokingly was like, oh, did you want us to stay? And then you're like, wait, will you? Oh, wait, you were joking about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I was just being silly. Oh, yeah, but like we were down. Oh, to yeah. Stay. Okay. Okay. This is like how good. the podcast happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's this also is... like good for me to you know stay out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get off your phone. Just get out of the house. house. Stop doom scrolling. Yeah. Some grass. Uh, how was your? <laughs> oh yeah, you were how just on a cruise. cruise. Wait, this is so funny. Wait, why? <laughs> This we is literally a, were just recording like the most political, like upsetting. <laughs> I was crying, crying and now we're like, ah, the group. <laughs> <laughs> the juxtaposition. Um, it was actually, I had like a fine time. It was, was a emo night cruise or was it an emo theme cruise and emo night was performing? Well, no, it was an EDM cruise. Oh so boy. ED, it's, it's called E-D-C-S-E-A because you're on the C's instead of E-D letter C. E-D-C. Where were the stops? What, what C's were Bimini? we on? Oh, Bimini. Which was, okay, so. The what, Bimini ring game. They have a hotel there, Resorts World, has like a new resort there. Gorgeous. You got to stay there? No, we stayed on the ship. But oh. so we we didn't get on the boat until the day after it disembarked from Miami because we didn't want to be on it for four whole days. So we took a ferry to Miami or to Bimini from Miami, which was horrific. Like every person <laughs> on the boat was puking like the oh people my God. Oh, no. I took like so much Dramamine before because I was like I can't and like even at the end I was like hanging on for dear life was, the, was it just choppy waters or so, corkscrewing yes, that it too? was a corkscrew crazy. is the worst what's a corkscrew that's when you're like you're not uh, going over the waves you're like caught yeah. in the middle of uh, waves you, and so and you could just see out the windows like I'm like I'm looking Ooh. directly at the water um and like people working there were literally just walking around with puke bags walking around with mops I was like this <laughs> oh is and were most of the crazy. people on the ferry also going on the EDM cruise no, you weren't okay it wasn't that you can do like yet. day trips there okay but like they have the bar there's bars it was the nicest ferry I've ever been on but it was just like <laughs> so <laughs> fucking crazy um, and then the EDC crews, they were um, docked in Bimini for the day. And it was just like so beautiful. The bluest water I've ever seen. We didn't go to the beach or anything because we were like settling in. Yeah. But it was really cool. They built stages on the beach. So like that day and night, they had EDM artists playing on the beach. And it was like That's sick. truly, we walked there for like maybe 30 minutes just to like check it out. Um, it was so cool. But then the rest of the time, it was just like on the cruise. And then TJ and Morgan were doing, they have like an EDM emo mix set wow. that they do. Expanding their horizons. And you well, were that's there how they got like. <laughs> on election night. Like, oh. So oh, were yeah. people just like on Molly, like I didn't submit my ballot. No, like, no, <laughs> no one was thinking about that. It was actually really funny because I was like the night of the election, they didn't go on until midnight. So at this point, I was like, we're fucked. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Um, just and the like, I was sitting in the room, like watching every news channel, like watching the election results. And they were like out doing shit. Like, yeah. we can't think about this. And then like, I went down there for when they started their set. And I'm literally just refreshing the like map. And it was pretty bad. But the people around me in like the artist area were like, they at one point caught on to me looking at, they're like, how's it going? And I was like, we're <laughs> not fucked. Good, not <laughs> and good. everyone was just like, what was the like vibe of the people that were at this oh, cruise? Just absolute menaces. I mean, everyone is so <laughs> nice. Like the EDM community, like everyone is just, I'm going to cry thinking about it. Cause like everyone is just so nice. And like, I'm so just sad at the world right now, but like they're good people. Yeah. I I've love, been to EDC before. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a fun, good crowd. Like everyone, the people are there in good spirits usually. Yeah. They yeah. just want to like tr- trade bracelets. Yeah. Peace, love, unity. Plur, yeah. Plur, rave. Do you know peace, how you do it? Love, so, unity, rave. You know, like Taylor Swift's, Taylor Swift's friendship bracelets. Mm-hmm. Let's like make one thing very clear. The rave community, this was started by them. Okay. And I do feel like a lot of them are like, offended that people are like, Taylor Swift invented bracelets, like yeah. beaded yeah. bracelets when like they very much so did. It's their culture. So they but do yeah, you... plur. You go peace, love, <laughs> community, and then you swap bracelets. Oh, that's cute. It's really sweet. And everyone's like, plur. 
<laughs> I never just have like a bracelet to, to bring to it. Well, when so you're like, there. Can I, yeah. can I get one? <laughs> Are they doing like live strong bracelets or it's like, no, no, like friendship bracelet on like elastic oh, 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 okay. string and with all the little beads around it. It's classic. I, there, someone gave me one and it said Coke whore on it. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was oh, so oh, like, <laughs> like afterwards I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, this is so sick. <laughs> Coke nobody, did, nobody went like overboard or anything, right? Because oh, that happens on <laughs> EDC no, cruises, we, it happens on a lot of these, usually we these We did speed. have a medical emergency <gasps> and had to go back to the port of Miami because they couldn't, uh, Bimini's like really close. Um, so they were just going to have like a, a med flight okay, come get them, yeah. but it, the skies were too like fucked up or whatever so that it wasn't like safe for them to land on the boat. Mm. So we had to drive back to Miami to let Sail. the person off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was crazy. I mean... The person's fine. What, I do believe. you know what the emergency was? I do, but like it's not public information, so I don't really mm. want to share that. But three people did wind up getting off of the boat. Like I watched three people get oh taken God. off. Two of them were like totally. So it was like this was the setting. I saw we docked. Two ambulances were there. Then a third. Then there's like <sighs> fire trucks. I was like, holy shit! Like what happened? The first person comes off. They like look totally fine. They were just like sitting up in the stretcher. I was like, okay, phew, they're good. But then I see another person coming out like fully intubated. And I was like, that's not good. Oof. Then I see a third person come out who's like same as the first person, like totally normal sitting up. So I was like, I bet those two people were already just like in the fucking hospital down there. And they're like, we're here. Do you want to just get off? Because like we're getting off tomorrow. Yeah. And that was the case for them. Um, but the other person who was like intubated, they were fine. Damn. Thank goodness. Yeah. And it didn't have anything to do with drugs, like, to be clear. Oh, okay. okay. Were, uh, was there a casino on board? A candy casino. Oh, a candy <laughs> casino. <laughs> Wait, like you get fake candy. money and then you get to use that money to I I, I think candy? there was an actual casino where people, like, can gamble at, but they... At EDC, Electric Daisy Carnival, they do a candy casino where people barter... They're candy. So the friendship oh, bracelets yeah. are called candy right. in the EDM world. Oh, so wow. they bet candy. And so I think they just like renamed the candy casino and then probably had like <clears throat> fun things people could do in that. But I do think there was an actual like casino. Yeah. Fascinating. And uh, yeah, Have I, you ever been on a cruise? Yeah, I, I did an Alaskan cruise oh, one that's time. Right. Which I think is I, I'm not like a cruise guy, but I think yeah. the best way to see Alaska is through a cruise because it's a hard state to drive around. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. like get in it's so beautiful from the outside because you get to see all the glaciers and uh all the scenery. Yeah. But yeah, there was a casino on that cruise and I gambled on that casino I gambled at the casino on that cruise. I gambled so well it paid for my entire Cruise. Damn. Wait, really? Yeah, just oh playing God. blackjack. Blackjack? Yeah. Hell yeah. Paid for the whole cruise. I've been getting reels of this guy who just bets money on uh, blackjack, and sometimes, and his whole feed is based on how many followers he has. That's how much money he bets. So he'll be like, "All right, we're betting fifty seven hundred dollars today," and he just puts it all down on like red, or, or he'll do like roulette, red or black at a or, casino yeah. or online. In the casino, and this, I've just seen this guy lose like thirty thousand dollars at a time, and it's <laughs> so just, like, funny. Cut it, cut, no, like, he, I, he has the same reaction every time. He'll be like, "All right, we're up to thirty thousand followers today. Let's see how we do." And we lost. Okay, we'll see you next time. See how many followers we have, and then it's like now it's up to like fifty thousand. It's so funny. Is he just like a rich guy? I I have to imagine. Okay. Yeah, there's but, also such a community of YouTubers who like stream or like. Gambling I guess on streamers, stream, but like, yeah, like we'll be at the slots, and like all you see is the slot. And my parents watch it all day. I thought day. you couldn't film in a casino like that. I think you just can't film like the table. Uh, a lot of people watch these people just like gamble. Like it's just like the screen of the slot, and people just get addicted to it and just watch oh it. My, God. my parents have it on. Like people do that with stocks too. Your parents watch it? Oh yeah, uh, just that's like what they slots. watch. Oh, yes, my. I like don't get it. I have I no kind of get the thrill of it because it's you're, you're getting the thrill of the win without losing any of the money. Like yeah, and they also like psychologically the chime, like the key, the bing, bing, note bing, bing, bing. of the uh, slot machine is like apparently like psychologically satisfying to yeah. your ear, and it's addictive to like hear and listen. It's I know my a, sister in law, when we were gambling, she was like, Tur you have to turn the volume all the way up because that'll yes. help your chances. I was like, that's so annoying. <laughs> I know. And then sometimes you like reset it too. You go up, down, up, down. And like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, oh. But she always wins like crazy. It's insane. 
So I'm, I'm, like, I'm pretty good at right slots. I'm pretty good at them. You can't can be you good? be good? Yes, there's certain types of games. No, the ones that are no. about to no. bust. The, the ones that are about Matt, to bust. No. It's all about timing. That's, I think, true. The, uh, certain slot machines, I wouldn't even waste my money on. But <laughs> the ones that are about to bust, the I believe Ellen, there is a the little Ellen bit machines. of strategy. The Ellen, the Ellen machine. Oh, guy, love her. Yes. <laughs> be kind. Let's do it. I want 90 bucks on a... Willie Nelson? Yeah, Willie Nelson slot machine. Well, he's the man. Yeah. And you won on a roulette table. You put like $20 in, and I said bet on red, and you got it. And you're like, that's it? <laughs> you're like, that's so easy. <laughs> I was like, okay, And then easy, you're like, Mike. never again. Yeah, yeah, no, never again. I don't think I've gambled since. I The first time I went to Atlantic City, I was like, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to put 50 bucks on, I think, red. And if I win, I will be a gambler. And if I lose, I will never gamble again. And I was like 21, went to Atlantic City. Put it on whatever color and lost my 50 bucks and did not put a dollar into gambling <laughs> until like 10 years later. I was with Matt in oh Tahoe God. and we went to this Willie Nelson. He's like, just put 20 bucks in. It's fine. And I put the 20 bucks in and I won 90 and I was like, That's we're back, sick. baby. Brilliant. But yeah. I haven't gambled since. I don't think I, I like never spend more than $20. I just am not a gambler. I know. I don't like it either. I usually spend like maybe. A, well, it's hard. It's, it's hard when like you're with people who are like going to be there for a while because once your money is up and you're done, you're like, now what do I do? So yeah. it's like you just want to keep like spending it. You're like, what else do I do? That's why I, I love playing blackjack, but only when the minimum is like super $5. low. Yeah. It's like yeah. when it's like $25 a hand. It's like, oh, I don't want to yeah. play anymore. That was <laughs> this like, isn't fun. We were just at Resorts World like last month and. And my friend just wanted to play blackjack, but it was $25 at every table. I know. I feel just like such like a cheap goblin yeah. walking around the tables, <laughs> looking at the little screen going, like with my chips going, no, can't do that. Yeah. No, can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I feel like such a cheap a, goblin. It's just a cheap little yeah. like, Is there a place where you could play blackjack for like 25 cents a hand? Yeah. Go to like Circus Circus or like, okay. or, wait, the, wait the 25 D. cents a hand? Yeah. Like super cheap. Uh, probably not 25 cents a hand, but the cheaper, more grimy casinos, yeah, $5. Like a, a I feel hand. like one of my favorite Vegas experiences was when, when we went through Circus Circus and we were like, what the It's crazy. The I Fun mean, Dome? That's oh my where God. I stayed with my family for the first time. Oh my Did God, you get so crazy. Oh, my parents, my, some like friend of my dad's was like, you want to get a good deal in Vegas? Go to Circus Circus. And we had no <laughs> idea. We had no idea. My parents never been to Vegas oh. before. They heard it was like good for kids because like you could have show. They could, you could Clowns take them to shows. Dude, oh. when we walked into this fucking Circus Circus in like 1998, it was so dark the carpets had not been cleaned in decades it's still like yeah, that. the yeah. lighting was like bad and we stayed there i don't really remember it being that bad but now in hindsight i'm like that was a fucking nightmare but we didn't really stay there like i think we went and then we just went on the strip went to like the luxor yeah. we saw shows like there's but a theme park in there yeah, yeah. You, you can get on a roller coaster watch trap we watched like a trapeze we show. rode the roller coaster like, yeah we did oh ride God. the roller coaster there, i like the one that's outside in new york new, new york. york oh no you can't get me on that i want to do I, every it's, time I'm everyone like, says it's so it. like i know oh, that's the manhattan know. express yeah, yeah. is what it's, it's called. like riding the subway it's really cool at night, I think, when you're like drunk. You're like, this is insane. But the Blue Man oh. Group, the, I think, oh BMG. yeah, the Blue Man Group. Love the Blue Man Group. We talked about that last episode, I think. The Did Blue you? Man Group. Yeah. yeah. Um, one time, this most disgusting thing I probably have ever done in Vegas, I paid for a smoking room one I thought time. you were going to say stripper. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> gosh. No. A smoking I, hotel room? It was room? back when I smoked cigarettes, and I was like, I don't want to have to like go downstairs to smoke a cigarette. Oh, and it's no. the one place where you can get a smoking room. Did it yeah. smell awful in like there? The walls were probably like, yellow. They weren't. The walls weren't yellow, but it definitely smelled like cigarettes. Do they have smoking rooms now in yeah. hotels still? Uh, in Vegas, probably they at do. Old, at like old ones, I bet. But only like but I, do you think yeah. Resorts World is like no. yeah, you can fuck up my. But room. I can't go to like Maui and get a smoking room. Maui. No, I feel like a lot like of Hawaii, Hawaii, like a nice place. Mm, I don't think so. Cigarettes are expensive in I Maui. feel like in, in Vegas, especially. They <laughs> like, that's a flex, yeah. maybe. Let are they expensive? Look. In Hawaii, cigarettes? Everything is expensive in Hawaii. I, thought you I meant even feel like cigarettes were like $18 when I went in like 2010. How much are they regularly? Like a pack? Now? Like seven bucks? Oh, no. I think they're like 10 or $11. I How much were they when we were? Have they gone up a lot? It says the like average bucks. price of a pack of cigarettes in the U.S. is $8. Uh. With prices varying significantly across states, the median price for a pack stands at seven dollars and ninety three cents. That's way lower than I would have thought. Me too. I feel I like think that's like the average. Right. Like in, if you're yeah. out like in the middle of Texas, of course, I think you're in New York, it. it's like 17, 18 bucks. I think in yeah. the city. 
Oh, in like Go Australia, <laughs> I think it's like thirty dollars for a pack of cigarettes. Like that's like a flex. If you have like six, <laughs> have a little cheeky C. Yeah. And the uh, the graphic imagery on like European cigarettes. I don't know if you ever see. Oh yeah, they're like Pokemon oh, they're, cards. They're yeah. crazy. Like, the dead baby or the, the black lung. Oh like, yeah, it's just like, like the guys crazy. with their throats. And now they're printing on the cigarette itself where your mouth is. It says like poison on it, like on the cigarette. So if you like take a picture of the cigarette, it says poison on if it. If I swing a cigarette, I want it to say poison. Yeah, it's, it's like, kind of so cool. brat. Yeah. So yeah. Brat. No, cigarettes are so cool. Uh, there used to be smoking <laughs> sections in restaurants too. Yeah, there which, still like, is in Japan. You can still kind of when you go into a restaurant, if it's been there for a long time, you can like tell, tell. architecturally like tell friendlies. where the wing <laughs> yeah. of like a smoking section it is. I remember as a kid going Me in places too. and you could smell it. Yeah, it I wasn't. Know. Why are we? It, who are we fooling here? We're not actually we're in the same separate. Building. Yeah, it's not even that big of a build. Like we're in an Applebee. Yeah, the, the I mean. smoke molecules are not stopping right here and being like, yeah. oh, hold on, everybody. And right. I remember like the non-smoking would be full. So like, do you mind sitting and smoking? We're like, okay, and we sit down and be like, ugh. I, but it's like it smells like dude, that throughout and, the whole place. Smoking in bars was like a. Yeah. Every bar in America, you could smoke inside and the bar. Alleys. And, and bowling alleys. And bowling alleys. Yeah, give me a bowling alley. <laughs> sig. Blast a but that's sig also disgusting. Like your hands are filled with smoke and then you're picking up a ball. There's nothing more unsanitary than like a bowling That's like your thing ball. with eating at bowling, too. Um, that is disgusting. Oh, eating at bowling? Yeah, what's you, my thing with eating at bowling? You don't a, like it. Uh, no, I, f I flagged this and then Matt was like, that is actually disgusting. That we never think about that you're oh, sticking yeah. your fingers. Right. Yes, yeah, we did. Said it before. Okay, yeah, yeah, It's like yeah, sticking yeah. your fingers in a toilet bowl yeah, and fucking then eating like hot dogs. But you just pretzels. don't think about it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to spray say sanitizer on, in every hole yeah. next time I go. We'll be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Rocket Money. Now, you've heard us talk about Rocket Money before. And, you know, once again, Rocket Money has found a subscription that I had forgotten about in all of my move and having to sign up for new accounts and Internet and water bills and all these things. Rocket, Rocket Money said, hey, Mike, do you know that you're paying for this twice? And I thank God for Rocket Money. I found a subscription I was paying for oh, twice. Oh, what a relief. I know. And Matt, why don't you tell the good people what Rocket Money is? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending and helps you lower your bill so that you can grow your savings. And with Rocket Money, I have a full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. Yeah, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel in just a few taps. I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month. So I can clearly see my spending habits. I'll get alerts like you spent X amount of dollars more this month than last month. Okay, I got to pull the brakes, maybe a couple less Topo Chico's. <laughs> but <laughs> the plus to help me create custom budgets and help me keep my spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lower your bills for you up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with the customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash hoot. That's rocketmoney.com slash hoot. Matt, send it home. Rocketmoney.com slash hoot. And now, back to the episode. Do you guys think bowling is the one professional sport that I think anyone could actually get decently good at? Hmm. I think dart throwing. I don't know. That's ha That's harder. Professional bowlers are really good. Yeah, it's but really tough to get I good. I feel like between that and golf. But after a while, I mean, if you, you any of us played a game of bowling, we're, you're going to hit a couple strikes. No, but you need to hit like eight or ten in a row. Although I, I have plenty of friends. Not plenty. I have like at least two or three friends that have bowled perfect games, which that's it's as good as it gets. Like if you exactly. bowl a perfect game. Which is just a strike, 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 strike. It's strike. 13 strikes in a row. Okay. Because it's like you get a turkey and then a, a moose or whatever they call it. I don't know. But we, yeah, we talked <laughs> about this on an unfiltered episode that the some the computer or the card got reformatted. We lost the episode, but it was an interesting wow. topic. Well, we started with if there was a professional sport that you feel like you could excel in, what oh. would it be? And I was like, bowling. Bowling. That's so funny. Bowling. Because I just think golf is still very, very hard and challenging. Yeah. And you're dealing with different a different element every time. Bowling, it's the same thing mm -hmm. every time. And you like we and know you, that amateurs have done the best thing that you can do at bowling. Like if we bowled enough, I bet you we could each score a perfect game. Just after <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, like <laughs> doing that? <laughs> like someone has their own ball and then they like... Uh, it would I mean, be interesting to just like go bowling with an actual professional bowler and see how much better they are than you. Oh, it'd be crazy. Oh, yeah. You know, like I think it would humble us real quick. Mm. 100%. Because like For, think of how like, strike, fast strike. their balls probably go. Yeah.
controller just really well it's not the weight it is the weight yeah. of the ball and also the aerodynamics <laughs> but, so one bowler how many balls is he bringing to a game like, oh, probably like two or three two or three for different that's a great we question how many balls where we hire a bowling like teacher bowlers. i'm just picking up whatever feels good yeah, like I i'm know. like oh i think i like this one and i just yeah. go for it it always makes me reminds me that i'm not a real man when i'm like <laughs> i see just like there's the smallest size and then i'm like this feels too heavy and i'm like I, gotta I feel eat like protein. I stick at like six or seven pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like the child <laughs> ball. Great. There's always the moment because like people, not everyone's watching, watching you, you play, but the moment you get that strike, you turn around <laughs> yeah. to see, did anybody see that? And you just want to feel cool. It's the most like self-gratifying, like, like just like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, or if you roll it and it's just like Gutter shitty ball. and then you turn around and you're like just feeling yeah, no awkward. One saw that like, rough day yeah okay it says most league bowlers bring at least two balls one for strikes and one for spares however oh. many bowlers bring Damn. three or more balls to account for lane breakdown tournament bowlers bowlers can bring up to five balls to Damn. a tournament but only the balls listed on their equipment registration card can be used in competition that is such a schlep to bring bowling balls everywhere oh my, it's but so you gotta heavy. think that they probably have like they're little guys, like caddies. caddies. They're, they're, caddies. Bowling. <laughs> they're, they're, ball, they're ball caddies. Yeah, it's like bowling in the Olympics. Oh. oh. Bowling? Why isn't it? I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of fun to watch. Isn't it? I love bowling. I, I actually have no idea. What about, what like about ski ball? I uh, love ski, ski ball. ball. I love oh, ski ball. I love me a ski ball, but it's all about just getting that top one. Yeah. Everything yeah. else, I'm like, whoop de doo It's just... Um, I love the layout of ski ball though. Oh, and you, you press the little button and yeah. they, they slide down. Uh, like, oh, yep. yeah. I don't have my basement. Um, it was nice. Okay, it says oh. bowling is not considered. Well, is it not considered a professional sport? Is it a real sport? No, Olympi I actually can't even. Is say. it only in the Special Olympics? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> well, hey. oh, man. No, it is. It's in the Special <laughs> Olympics, but not the real. It says bowling is not an Olympic sport, but it is one of the most popular sports in the world of the Special Olympics. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Did Bring see it that, to the Olympics. Did, did, did y'all see that Miss Ray Gun, uh, the break dancer of has Australia, retired. has retired? No way. Yeah. Well, is done. What? She said is the it hate like 25 was, or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, she wasn't it like a social experience? Like, well, yeah. The way she got in was yeah. like a little unethical. Like her husband. She was like a grad student or like a professor, and her thesis and her specialty academically was studying break dancing. Yeah. Her, her and her husband hosted the trial for the breakdancing team and she just weaseled her yeah. way up into the Olympics and obviously, you know, embarrassed herself. And it's just sad that uh, but how many people were her for Halloween? Like I know. Oh, girlies I got saw her a name. Handful. Yeah. Yeah. But Reagan, like she's uh done breaking. Did she get like a lot of followers on her social media? Like could she turn it into a I don't know if she, like a she a got more hate than followers. You think? Oh, because she was making like a mockery of but it. But I think she was kind of an icon. Like Oh, she was like the the mascot of the Olympics. I don't even know what the actual mascot was. What's but, her name? Uh Ray Lee. Ray, I think. Ray Gunn? Her Ray Gunn was like, like her, break, her break name. <laughs> Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. I, am Ray Dunn Dunn I am ready for those Black Friday Ray Dunn sales. <laughs> Are you going to bust through the doors of home goods? <laughs> we should yeah. just get them for the set, and that's Door the busters. only thing we can drink from. That's hilarious. Just Ray mugs. Gunn. I'm pretty excited for Black Friday. Do I you? I'm more of a Cyber Monday I, man. I, Black Friday, you are camping out, outside the stores and going no, in. No, no, no. It's just where I buy. It's the only time I buy it. <laughs> It's the only time of year I buy clothes is when they're deeply, deeply discounted. Oh, because I think by paying retail for clothes just feels morally wrong. So you're going wrong. what to Abercrombie and Fitch on Black Friday? Well, now I think I'm going to upgrade. I think with my current status in life and where I want to be as a person who dresses, I think I want to go to like the J. Crews, yes. the Gaps. Can I come it's with you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just uh, you gotta no. I think that. it's good to like have a lady perspective. I know. I think I just want to get. And will get tell it like it is. Too. She'll but be like, no, no, but I wouldn't be work. me. No, I, I know. Get, like, I, I better just like, that doesn't work. I think yeah. I need like what? <laughs> it's just like the cliche scene in a yeah. movie yeah. where he's like, <laughs> "Work it, girl. Give it a try. Yeah. Like, do that thing." Oh um, yeah. no, no. Guys, oh, can I say yeah, like, We can go through your closet, do a little editing in your closet. Oh, what do y'all think about plastic hanging? <laughs> oh, I have the felt ones. I have the felt ones. I Mike has felt Well, once hangers. again, everybody has different situations at their home. Some people do have plastic hangers. Mike has I do like too. The, I don't have hangers I at both. all. Huh? I don't have hangers. Where's all your clothes? I fold it all. 
What? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's the, uh, you hang I was like, what's the weirdest thing I can say? <laughs> um, I don't I, have it. I have both. Oh, like, you should have went with that for a while. I was plastic laughing. hangers. Okay, oh. What kind of hangers do you have? Plastic. I have some felt ones. What I like black or white. Black. Yeah, me too. I have white hangers, white plastic hangers. I just oh. wish all mine looked the same, but they're all felt, but they're all mismatched <gasps> and stuff. They have and a pack at Target for guys. like 30 bucks. That is a hundred of the felt hangers. They're black felt and then the the hook is also black? like a matte black. Oh, really I like the cool. kind of gold, rose gold looking ones. I, w I will Different. say, I do think a wood hanger is better. No but one a, has so many of those. The felt, they're so jacket, big. The, the bulky. Okay, yeah. the felt hangers. Uh, the point of a hanger is to have my clothes when I'm not wearing them. When I want to wear them, I want them off the hanger as easily as possible. I have to fight with the felt and pull it, and I have to take it off the whole. I want to be able to like. What are I you want putting this, on there? Any anything you put on no, a felt I hanger, know what he's I, there saying. is a bit of friction with a felt friction. hanger. It's However, like double-sided tape. So well, though, it keeps your clothes so well. I don't have hanger. that issue. Your clothes slide off a felt hanger. Yeah. Well, I mean, are you pulling off like silk, like spaghetti straps? Sometimes. But what about a t-shirt? It's fine. How do you get it off? I don't. I can, just I, clearly does it very well. Yeah. Uh, or do you pull? I also do you don't pull hang from, up my t-shirts. Oh, like I fold my t-shirts. Same here. Unless like I love the like t-shirt. Also, don't hang your sweaters. Those should be folded. Sweater. Uh, these sweatshirts. I hang, hang them though. That's you no, you shouldn't hang those. Oh, shoot, sorry. You should fold. <laughs> <laughs> I hang everything. Ten part apology. Okay. I hang my underwear. <laughs> Apologize to your J. Crew sweater. I, know, I just. I imagine, wish. Carly. Imagine I hung my underwear. That would be so sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would love that. <laughs> just like the clip, like the, the pan clip clip. ones. It's like a Victoria's Secret. I hate. Hate oh. hangers that oh have the clips. But it's what a, I like them because my skirts. No, I hate them. I like them when I have to uh, like steam pants. Yes, that they're only it's purpose. useful for yeah for yeah. pants steaming. I bought my first iron. We we haven't owned an iron. We're just we're steamer yeah. people. Oh, I've but never had an steamer iron. Too. I love it. I bought my first steamer ever, a little clicky one, and you do this. That yeah. is a fucking game changer. Sometimes I with like a, a dress steamer. shirt, you want that nice like crisp, crisp oh. iron. If you're going to a wedding, usually you're, I feel like I'm always at a hotel or an Airbnb that will have an iron. I'm never at home for an iron. But yes, when you're wearing a dress shirt, there is nothing nicer than a crisp. I was so nervous I wish about I was hotel a... irons that they're just going to like singe my oh, yeah. garments. Oh yeah, you get you don't want to burn it. I saw it. a trick on TikTok actually. It was like if you're afraid of that, there's something you can put on top to like do it. Like a towel. Yeah, maybe it was that. But irons are so different now. Like some of them just like spout water out at, yeah, at you, and I'm like, with, a not? good one is retractable cord. I also think all, mm. all <laughs> anything with a cord make it retractable. retractable. Yeah. I don't get why none of the blow dryers, any of that <laughs> the stuff, Dyson the Dyson blow dryer, the straighteners. Yeah, even the Dyson one. That's crazy, actually. But about. there's not a retractable thing. Yeah. Make it properly. But it's just <laughs> we're always <laughs> dealing. With Probably. Like wrapping stuff up, putting yeah. it away, no. and it's all in the boxes, and it knocks another thing of hairspray down. Yeah. It's just oh, like it's, there's nothing wanna... more overstimulating than like drying your hair and the cord is like hitting like. Oh, the, like, yeah. just saw the like a TikTok about this. Uh, it's like a common yes, like it's overwhelming so thing, annoying. like hitting like the toilet paper thing. I'm like God. Yeah, cords are really annoying. They just retractable. Unless you're a charger, then I love you, charger. Thank you for being a cord. But I also, like, what is in the new iPhone blocks? Like, make that shit go inside there. Yeah. They're true. so big. They're, like, this big. What, what iPhone block? Like, the big ones. That oh, charge you're your saying phone the cord really should just retractable? Yeah. I know. What's oh, in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you're right. They, All the battery. The fuck is in there? No. <laughs> I just want the batteries just to last for two days. I know. Because I'm just running around the house <laughs> with cords, chargers. I'm I linking know, up I this know. over here, getting an extension cord just so I can sit in peace on my phone. It's just, uh, yeah. yeah, it's just the cords and stuff these days. Um, cords these days. <laughs> cords these days. What's that? What's what? chords these days? No, You're chords these joke, days. Like, uh, chords these days. Oh, 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 oh. Are you excited for the Grammys? Um, yes, I'm excited for the Grammys. The nominees just came out. Yeah, I forgot. But can some. we guess who is best new artist? Is probably going to be Chapel Run. I hope that. Well, who's on the list? Well, let's can we, can we go through the nominees. Sabrina yes. Carpenter. Or was Sabrina Carpenter nominated last year? Nope, she was nominated. Oh, Ooh, that's a tight. Do you want me to go in order of yeah. how it was posted? Yes, yeah. let's hear it. Okay, album of the year. Did you want to guess those as well? Album of the year, I think we'll go to Brat, Charlie XCX. I yeah. think it had it's a so huge tough. cultural influence. I agree. And uh, the thing is, she's up against Taylor Swift, and I just that always makes me so nervous. 
I don't and, know. And Billie Eilish. Oh, damn. Who Billy's are the other nominees? And, Ch- and Chapel Rome. Like, Ooh. this is a strong category. Strong. And Beyonce. But damn. I think Brad became a wow, massive project. Wow, there's no project. men for album of the year? Andre 3000, which who knew he had an album. Oh, he is not going to win Wait, that. Wait, that instrumental album? In Jacob Collier. Oh, oh yeah. I'll okay. read you everyone. Andre Nick 3000, <laughs> Beyonce, Sabrina Carpenter, Charlie XCX, Jacob Collier. Collier? I'm sorry. I don't know. Collier. Yeah. I oh, Collier. do not like Jacob Collier. He's the guy who like makes the crowd yeah. his what is he sing? instrument and he's just always. Uh, exactly. What does he no, sing? No, I've actually never heard of this. And he's not always wearing like, just like fun colored like pants and stuff and he's just like oh i know music like he's very a producer, cringe right? he, well no he makes music but it's unlistenable yeah. he's very like charlie puth musically talented explaining like microtonal chords and oh, like he's, a song he's very talented but it's just hokey, it's hokey pokey yes. stuff to bridge me. over troubled water that's not your song sir no he did a cover that one um, went really okay. well billy eilish chapel roan and taylor swift that's for album of the Damn. year. Strong showing for women. But I think I Brat became a massive project. Also, like the remixes, the collaborative stuff. I, I think agree. I think just... Billy might win it again. The Grammys love them. I know. They they win. They well, dude, when they're nominated, they win. Huh? Well, when we obviously. Fight, we. Oh. I'd like to see Charlie win it. I would say, I mean, I maybe a little biased, but like what I have seen the most is Charlie and Taylor on the other categories. No, I mean like, like in oh, my culturally? own personal bubble, like. Yeah. Of course, I've heard like the Billie Eilish songs, but not like yeah, really no. talked about. She's also the number one artist in the world on Spotify. Good for her. Yeah. She's won a lot. And yeah. She, yeah. It's, I don't know. Okay. Record of the year. Any guesses? Oh, wait. This Fortnite. album and record always <laughs> record get Record is re- like very... the song. Record oh. is a single song. And it's Ooh. about the recording. It's not about the song itself. It's who has the best recording of a song. Hmm. Damn, you'll I... never guess the first one. <laughs> uh, Zach Bryan. The Beatles. <laughs> oh, really? The Beatles. Yeah, now and then. Oh, oh. yeah. Didn't they do something with like AI Paul McCartney or, or AI You're, John Lennon? Oh, my God. Really? I didn't even see that. Um, yeah. Okay, so the Beatles, Beyonce, Texas Hold'em. The same Texas. Can I just it say, starts, Texas Hold'em, though, that song starts sounding like a Coles commercial. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, if that, I don't it's think. Like, or it sounds like American authors. It's like, doo, doo, I don't doo, think yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. Um, oh, Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso. Oh, uh, that I, is. I'm cool with that. Charlie XCX, 360. Billie Eilish, Birds of a Feather. Ooh. Oh, Actually, that might win. I, I know. Like, that song is so well produced. Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us. Oh, that is a massive fucking song too. This Chapel Roan, Good Luck Babe. That has been like Damn, this culturally is... like. Okay, we had a good year for music. I, I think know. it'll be Chapel. I would say and, Good Luck Babe, Birds of a Feather 360. And, and then, then let Taylor the... Swift, Fortnite. I've never oh. even heard that. Yes, you have. For a fortnight. Fortnite. Okay, then we have Song of a Year. And now, what is the difference between oh, record yeah, and song? Oh, yeah, I don't song? understand that. I think it's record is also how it was recorded, and song is like the songwriting of it. What was that? What was that? This is song of the, le- the so year. So song, yeah, song of the year is about the writing of the song. So the lyrics, the chords. Okay, we've got Shabuzi. <laughs> oh, f- catchy song. We're in the Good club love tipsy. Billie Eilish, Birds of a Feather, Feather, Lady Gaga, and Bruno Mars, Die with a Smile. I'll be honest, I've never, never heard, heard of that. that. They oh, were doing yeah. skywriting for that. Remember I when it knew, came out? I remember it came out, and I just never Gaga heard it. It's like flopping Gaga. right now. I'm sorry. Who is? Gaga. Oh, yeah. Taylor Swift in Post Malone Fortnite, Chapel Roan, Good Luck Babe, Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us, Sabrina Carpenter, Please, 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 Damn. and Beyonce, Texas, Hold I feel like it's going to be, I think it's going to be a big year for Sabrina, though, because she bl- has blown the fuck up. I think more so Chapel than Sabrina. Uh, when you wake yeah. up next to him in I think the like, middle of the night, I think yeah. your head that day yeah. in the morning light. When you that, think about that might me. be song of the that year. That is I agree. great, great yeah. lyrics. I Her, think the whole original. album is phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenon. Fem, phenomenon. Phenomenon. What did, uh, there's like a, I don't know if it was a tweet or a TikTok I saw, but I was like, I wanted a feminine nominon, not a felon and <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's T. Okay, best new artist, Benson Boone, Sabrina Carpenter, Dochi. Oh, yeah, Dochi. Yeah. I really don't know this next artist. I don't want to like be offensive if you maybe know their. Oh, oh, I don't like this. Uh, per, oh, oh Krugenabon, Krugenabin. Oh, K- Krungbang, Krungbang. Who also does stuff with like uh, Leon Bridges and stuff. Okay. And they're it's, like, it's, they're it's an always instrumental like band. This, okay. It's like kind of hippie, psychedelic rock kind of stuff. It's Okay, uh, Ray, Chapel Roan, Shibuzi, and Teddy Swims. Oh, Chapel, for sure, Chapel Roan. I Chapel agree. Roan. She is the music industry right now. She's like right the now. Kate Bush right now. I mean, yeah. she's... She's everything. Did you see that? Um, paparazzi have now started purposefully provoking her so that they can try to get a reaction because those 
videos are selling so wildly to the media. Oh Best pop solo performance, Beyonce, Sabrina, oh, Beyonce Bodyguard, Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso, Charlie XCX, Apple, Billie mm. Eilish, Birds of a Feather, Chaperone, Good Luck Babe. So we're seeing like yeah. same, the same, same things. Same. Yeah. Best pop duo group performance, we have Gracie, Abrams, and Taylor Swift, Us, Beyonce, Post Malone, Levi, Jeans, Charlie and Billie Eilish, Guess, I feel like it'll probably be that. Um, oh, Ariana yeah. Grande, Brandy, and Monica, The Boy Is Mine, mm, Lady Gaga, that. and Bruno Mars, Die With a Smile. That'll probably be Charlie and Billy. I agree. What was the first one you read? Uh, Gracie Abrams and Taylor Swift, Us. That one was pretty Can good. you bet on the Grammys? Probably. Mm, probably on the right website, sure. Yeah. If you could bet on the fucking election, I'm sure you could bet I on the Grammys. I thought you could. What? Kalishi no. or whatever. I don't think in the U.S. you were allowed to do that. I think that was those were all scams. Oh, but even on Robin Hood, they had like a whole coin thing where you could buy, you could <laughs> invest in Trump and bet on Kamala. Did you guys bet on the election? No. No. Oh. I didn't. I almost did for fun. <sighs> but glad I did it. Yeah. I don't want to think about it. I want to keep the good vibes here. Distraction free. And what is make what uh, categorizes a performance? Is like them on stage doing it or mm -hmm. it's like the... Their performance of their the song. of their song. Oh, it all just all sounds like song of the year to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but the way that people vote is based on like because it's a lot of industry people, so they're looking at different metrics. Like they, the people who are voting that are in the Grammy community, can say like, okay, the production of this song is why it's better, but the songwriting of this song is why mm -hmm. this one is better, and it does matter because it is people who are producers and songwriters and musicians like it. For us, it all kind of sounds the same because it basically is, but that's how they're breaking it up. I feel like we haven't had like a good like slow or like ballad song in a while. Like, well, I, I guess will always Fortnite love you. is kind of slow, but like <laughs> Fast Car, Tracy Chapman, yeah. like something that just like nah, seizes yeah. the day and everyone can't get enough of it. I feel like it's just been a while was, um, since. Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate, I don't like please, please, please. Oh, really? I like espresso. Please. It just, it's like Hotel California. It just doesn't like go anywhere. It's like, <laughs> please, please. Yeah, I get that. Hotel I California. We will be right back after a quick word from today's sponsor, Quit With Jones. I hate vaping. I have tried to quit vaping more than once, and it's something I still struggle with, and you may be in the same boat. Quitting vaping or smoking is a journey, a journey that can feel like climbing a mountain without the right gear. That's where Jones comes in. Jones makes low-dose nicotine mints that are FDA approved and I absolutely love them. Jones was started by two women who know the struggle firsthand. They tried quitting cold turkey countless times, but it never stuck. So they took matters into their own hands, creating the support they wish they had. And now they're sharing it with you. Jones offers holistic support to help you kick the habit, whether you're aiming to quit altogether, cut back, or just shift your mindset. Jones understands that quitting is a spectrum and they meet you where you are. With the FDA approved nicotine mints, behavioral support, and a welcoming community, Jones is your partner in progress. Did you know that 95% of people can't successfully quit cold turkey? And you may be part of that 95% and that is okay. It's tough out there, but with Jones, it's different. Their low-dose nicotine mints minimize withdrawal symptoms, making the journey smoother, and pair them with the Jones app for a winning combination. If you've done the routine of quitting on Monday and buying a new vape on Tuesday, it is time to make a change. And with Jones, it is a different story. So say goodbye to that cycle and hello to a healthier you. And let's talk about style. Jones comes in a discreet travel tin, and I love the design. You can take your Jones mints with you wherever you go, and it makes things so easy. Ready to take the first step? Then head to quitwithjones.com slash hoot for 20% off your first order of nicotine mints. That is q-u-i-t-w-i-t-h-j-o-n-e-s.com slash h-o-o-t. Quitwithjones.com slash hoot for 20% off. I highly encourage you to try it out. You'll thank me later. And now back to the episode. It's it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that Chris Brown keeps getting nominated for stuff. I he's am nominated. Yeah, he's nominated for best R and B album. Whoa, that's people don't care about women. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess considering yeah. the results of the election, it's not surprising. But yeah. I don't know how that guy's in the music industry. I don't know how people are buying tickets for his shows. I don't know how people are collaborating with him. Like, Yikes. I are those photos of Rihanna's not public anymore? Like, what the fuck are we doing here, people? I mean, they are. I guess, yeah. Biden's America, am I right? <laughs> God. Okay, what's next on the Grammy? You, uh, I mean, it, it, it's really just like repetitive, the same artists. Okay. Is there anything like 
specific I guess category? those were, we, we went to the biggest ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what about the best male performance? Um, oh, they don't have that That this year. doesn't <laughs> exist. Oh, true. Okay. I feel like they're still, this was this morning, and I feel like they slowly keep adding more. It's also weird at the Grammys how they have, like, the Grammys itself, but then there's, like, another Grammys that's, like, before, and people yes. yeah. win their Grammys. They do that with but everything, not... like Emmys, too. And yeah. I, they yeah. only televise a very small portion of them, yeah. but there's, like, 50 categories. And there yeah. is an, an event for it, and they don't televise it on the main thing. Yeah. But, like, plenty of people win Grammys that we'll never see, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. That's, like, half the time when... You see, like, Taylor Swift win two awards, but then she's holding, like, eight of them. Oh, I'm like, wait, right. where did those ones come yeah, from? Yeah, because she got, like, yeah. there's best engineering, best yeah. mixing, best... Like, writing uh, credit. Even, like, packaging design, like, based Damn. on what your vinyl Damn. looked like, based, best uh, visualizer, best music video, whatever. And those are the people that they don't showcase. I know. Mm -hmm. it's who just are doing, a... like, the most work. Yeah. Did you hear Tyler Creator in that one interview where he said that albums and music should be dropped on Tuesdays? They used, yes, they, used Friday, they used to be. Yes, they used to. On Friday. They used to be. It feels like if it's dropped on a Friday, people are obviously out like partying and celebrating, but they're not in a Consuming. listening mood to hear something new. Yeah. Tuesday, you know, Monday people are just getting their week started. Tuesday is a day where like, all right, it drops. You listen throughout the rest of the yeah. week. And by the time the weekend comes around, the music will be fully celebrated and listened and played and all of that. Completely I think agree. It's like a me. really good It strategy. should be New Music Monday, not New, new Music new Friday. Friday. Yeah. I wonder because when they started, we switched it to Friday. It used to be CDs would yeah. be released on Tuesdays because all the stores would get their shipments like over the weekend. They would use Monday to do the prep and put everything out. And then Tuesday, the CD is officially for sale. Oh. That's why we, music used to come out on Tuesdays and shit used to leak all the time because during the shipments of the CDs, someone would pop it out and me when Taylor still Swift, does. Taylor Swift was sent to Target. What early. was the last CD you've ever bought? Oh, oh midnight. I, actually, I did. Both. Actually, <laughs> on CD. Where, have you listened to it on the CD? No, no. I, just, I actually have Vampire Weekend. I actually just like having it CD. like on a shelf. Yeah, like, I think or it's just like I like buying the vinyls. That feels better because yeah. it's so much bigger and it's like you see the artwork and yeah. And I have the vinyl player set up now, but CDs. That's kind of. Yeah, I mean, I bought it and I was like, I don't know why I bought it, but I'm glad I have it like on a little. And website. when the apocalypse happens, vinyl records, you could still play because that shit is True. like physical. Mm -hmm. Did you own any cassettes? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, no. I, mean, I had the Backstreet Boys first album <laughs> on a cassette because so my many. dad had like a Honda Civic or whatever. And yeah. it didn't have a CD player. What songs was, were on that album? Um, I th believe I Want It That Way. Like it's not Millennium. So no, Millennium that was, was I Want It That Way. Was on I Millennium, wanted, I think. That way was on Millennium? I think so. No, like Larger Than Life is on Millennium. And I think I Want It That Way is too. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wasn't well, their well, first album? What was the cover? Back streets. Oh, no. Back. It's, no, you're wrong. You're right. Yeah. Am I? It was I more can of picture their... the album. It was like the five of them, um, like, like on, a, on street a street wall. Yeah, yeah they're like behind That's the wall, in front of a wall. 100%. Yeah, Is I it the, it the red way. wall or the white wall? White. Oh, yo. A There's Backstreet Boys. Like this? Yes. yes. I had That's that. Their, so that looks like their second album, Backstreet's Back. Backstreet's Back, all right. Yes. That's like early. Yeah, You're right. You're right. This is before. This is a year before. Oh, that's just Backstreet that? Boys. That must have been their like demo. Debut. Oh, this like... is everybody. Everybody. Uh, as long yeah. as you love me. Oh, that. Quit playing games with my heart. Quit. Oh man, is that on this one? Yes. Oh, hey, Mr. DJ. Uh, hey, Mr. DJ. That's wait, no. <laughs> Don't quit thing. playing games with my heart is not on this album. Oh, it's it on might be on the one back. before. This is hey, Mr. DJ. Uh, all I have to give as long as you love me and everybody. Oh, I have. So maybe the to first give. album. Without you, I Who don't. Who was your favorite Backstreet Boy? Yeah, Brian. Uh, Brian. Oh, yeah. Brian. He was the best singer. Doesn't he have a crazy wife? <gasps> He's like a Karen for a while. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't Did kept you? up. So there was a video of somebody on a beach and this Karen <laughs> comes up and is like, you guys cannot be on this side of the beach. You need to be over there. Get your umbrella down. Oh, you're filming me? Okay. Wait, fine. in Laguna Beach? Um, I do don't know where exactly it was. She kind Recent, of was like, like within the past like five months. Oh nah, oh. I would say a year. She's like blonde hair. Yes, fake tits. No, I think like, this <laughs> happened in Laguna Beach. And and then everyone in the comments is like, wait, that's Brian from the Backstreet Boys, Stop. and he has like you know his hat on and some Oakleys. Like you can't tell that it's him, but it's totally wow. Brian and his wife. <laughs> was it like, oh, 
I'm no, it's it. not the whole Laguna Beach controversy and that woman who has the house and all the people. Sorry. Oh, were like, okay, 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 uh, okay. No, this was like maybe it. also could have been in Florida or in the Carolinas. I don't know, but yeah, he was like with his wife, wife snapping at these people on camera. Oh God! Well, that makes sense because they're like pretty conservative. I too. was like Kevin. I always felt like he was very like calm yeah. and centered. Yeah. He was. And Joe Volpa's got AJ on his podcast. Sure. Yes, who AJ is the richest one out of all of them. Really? Really? Because he got man? into music producing yeah. and he ended oh. up producing massive Smart. hits. But oh, like, he wow. wasn't the most popular, but he's the most successful post Backstreet Boys. Smart. I always feel bad for NSYNC though, knowing that like Backstreet Boys can still do tours and get together and make appearances and record. But in like Justin because Timberlake Justin of it all. Timberlake is so heavily solo they can't do they also probably hate him <laughs> you think so but they've yeah. done a few when like he did his tour they did they reunited for like a couple songs like on Super stage Bowl. they did stuff at yeah i feel like they just don't like him yeah i, I get that the too. other day at starbucks really yeah he was just sitting there like yapping Who? with some lance bass it was like <laughs> 8 a.m and i was like yapping. i was like oh i want to just like know what you're talking about <laughs> he's on watch what happens all the time he's funny i like him i like he was him my too. crush when i was little well, that tracks. I know. Charlie loves JC. gay men. I know. JC Chavez. 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 Oh, yeah. And he was on Chavez. The Voice Justin. or something or one of those shows now, right? America's Got Talent. He's a judge. Huh? Oh, but America's oh. Best Dance Crew. And then Thank who you. Was, was another guy, Vance? Or he was JD Vance? <laughs> <laughs> JD Vance back sounds boys. like a boy band like, <laughs> member. Like, and we got JD Vance. <laughs> like Justin Timberlake, Lance Bass, JD, JD Vance. Vance. In sync, oh, you're trying to um, name? Um, Chris Kirkpatrick. Oh. The one is like, yes. ice around my neck. It's um, ice around my neck. That's JC. She's Jace, no, no, it's um, oh, what the fuck is his name? He's on like Impractical Joker sometimes. What's his Andrew name? Andrew Santino. Why? What oh, are we talking I, about here? We need to look up the NSYNC members. I am Joey Fatone. Joey. Joey. Oh, it was Joey. Joey the fat Lance one. Lance Bass, JC Chazez. Justin, Justin, Joey, Lance, and JC. I'm sure Justin Lance. Four? Lance, you're the only one without a J name. They could have been like J5. Oh, yeah. No, it's Jump 5. And you know how they're, you know where they came up with their name NSYNC? It's it's because the, they weren't NSYNC. Well, no, it's the last <laughs> letter of each of their first names. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. And it makes Justin, it fucking work. Justin with the N. Uh, JC for the C. You've got to be fucking kidding Joey me. Joey for the Y. That and is so funny. Yeah. Lance. Damn. That was like one of the first Wikipedia articles I ever read was like in sync as a band. And it was like <laughs> their name is an amalgamation of the last letter of each of their first and names. And it's like they're in sync because yeah. they're yeah. singing harmonies and stuff. Wow. That's really crazy. You truly do learn something new every that's day. That's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I want S Club 7 to get back Oh, together. don't even get me started. Bring back the show. Isn't Bring Paul? Paul died, right? All right, people. I know. I think but he was S the first one. Seven. Wasn't it like? I thought it was cancer. Was that S Club 7 in Miami that was a show, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, S Club 7 in Miami. Yeah, I, I don't remember what that was. I think it was Howie was Club. like the guy and they were jumping at the hotel. on the trampoline. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. It's like to you. I ate that shit up. I was like, that's going to be my life. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to become famous and a singer and then get a TV show just like them. Joe, Bradley, Hannah, uh, Tina, Rachel. Oh, my Paul, God. And the what are they like Australian? Uh, British. British. Okay. British. Yeah. Um, so I'm not wow. a sex object. When I was a kid. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, this is Fox you family. Like, like, no, you literally were like, Joe's yeah, like, you I'm are. Not a sex object. I was like, whoa. <laughs> that is so funny. Whatever you funny. say, toots. <laughs> Whatever you say, toots. You know, also someone who I, I can't believe is like dead is the LFO. Oh, I was just thinking about that. Like, like girls who are Abercrombie died. and Fitch? He died. Like two of them died, Cancer. I think. Oh, I thought. really? I thought so. LFO. Let's I say. love the fact that LMFAO is a uncle and his nephew. And they hate each other now. They're like <laughs> I'm oasis. Sure. They can't be really? in the same room <laughs> together. Well, well, just imagine being in a tour. band with your uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me you and my guys. uncle Greg just making club hits. I'm sorry. Three members of LFO have died. LF and O have all passed. Yes. On. <laughs> Brian Briz Gillis died at 47 in 2023. Um, Cause of death unknown. Ooh. Rich Cronin died of leukemia, age 36 in 2010. Oh, God. What? Devin Lima replaced Gillis when he left the band and died in 2018 at age 41 from adrenal cancer. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. LFO. R.I.P. No. Like, <laughs> do you know there element, four do you people remember in that band. Element T where it's like, yes. hey, Juliet. Yeah. Do you know who was in that band? The guy from Glee, the teacher. 
Matthew Morrison? Matthew Morrison was in Element. Shut Element up. <laughs> Element or whatever. He Element. was in that. Uh, hey, but he, I think, left right when they kind of got popular, but he's definitely like tied to it are those Paul korean pop from... bands still blowing the fuck up yeah like stuff? they're not like in my like atmosphere but they're definitely huge well, what was Who? the name the a korean boy band that oh. everyone bts yes yeah, are BTS. they do people still listen to them they, or well they... they're in the they had to serve their military uh service if you live in south korea <laughs> you have to serve like four years <laughs> yeah, in the military what? yeah but i believe the first member just finished his uh, service and he's out. But there's like nine guys. Yeah, in there's BTS. a lot of them, right? It's like like a chorus. <laughs> like that is that's cr fucking they gotta, crazy. You can't get exempted, uh, ex be exempt from doing the military in South Korea unless you win gold at the Olympics. <laughs> you what? Don't, you don't have to do it. And I believe there's some wow. award or like a medal of honor as like a citizen. If you get that, you don't have to do it. I they, learned that when I was I still have 26 I million being like a, the most famous fucking K-pop star. And then you're just like, got to go to the military. There's so many of them. Yeah. Oh, tons, tons. And one of them's like super fluent in English, like has a full American accent and stuff. Like I kind of that's good for them. Like there's so much lore. It's kind of like Odd Future, where there's just like so many people, and like, is this guy still in it? What? How Isn't are it they? Kind of like problematic though. But what? how do they have take that many people? No, no it's like the like way they train and like. Oh, it's like really exhausting and it's really demanding. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, is not, it like a military psyop? Like yeah. you're gonna get out there and you're gonna fucking sing. Yeah. You have to give your entire life to it. Yeah. But nine members. How many members in it? Like, it looks at like least seven. How, do they all take? How do they? Are there some songs where they're not singing on? Like. They, no, they, they probably they, all do backups at some point. I think every track probably has at least seven vocals well, on it. Well, are there One Direction songs where not everybody gets a verse on? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. that guy died, right? Liam Payne. Yeah. Lots of stuff is coming out. How are y'all doing about that? I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I mean, I'm sad <laughs> for the boys. I think it's just different because, like, we didn't, we weren't like kids when we started listening to One we Direction. We were like 24 when we yeah. were obsessed. Yeah. So we're, we're a little younger. <laughs> but yeah, like, it, it's just so different. I don't want to, like, I just feel like it's not my place yeah. to be as upset as, like, kids who were like 12 who then listened to them until they were, like, in That's their That's like 20s. their whole childhood, yeah. basically. Like, like, I don't oh have that connection. I think it's so sad. And like, oh, what a tragedy, but I don't have the emotional like, yeah, I'm not connected to it. Why is death now being like ruled as suspicious? Yeah. I think a couple of people have been arrested. Three. From the hotel. Yeah. Three people were arrested at the hotel? So like recently. And there were like new toxicology reports coming back. In the initial one, they were like, he was on like Pink meth, cocaine. Pink coke, all of this Ooh, that stuff. that sounds fun. Pink I coke. didn't look at it, but I saw Barbie it yesterday because I was going to bring it up on our podcast next week. But I, I'm not sure what that says. But it was really funny. I am friends with a 23-year-old. And so she was like 12. <laughs> and we have like a group chat that coincidentally like the week before he died we just started talking about one direction and like named the group chat directioners That's crazy. and like the day he passed away that morning we were talking about wearing like one direction outfit inspired our one direction inspired outfits to like the nightclub we were going to like as a joke and then like literally that afternoon he passed away but she was Ugh. like where was everyone when Zayn left One Direction? And she was like, I was in math class. I was like, I was literally probably like blowing lines. Yeah, we were <laughs> off of <laughs> the bathroom yeah, We've already been in LA. Like, it's just so crazy. Oh, that's like, how they broke up, just... right? Zayn left the group? No, then they did had a whole album, album called Four. Which is really good. Or was it Made in the AM? No, it was Four. Made in the AM was with Zayn. No, that's their last album. Okay, so they did four and then made in the AM. And Joe yeah. Bros, were you guys Joe Bros girls? Um, not really. I knew the hits. Joe Bros, like Jonas, Jonas Brothers. Brothers. Oh, that's get what with they it, Matt. Them. I thought Joe was very hot. Joe and Taylor Swift dated. Fun fact, and he broke up with her over a third, like twelve second phone call on the phone. When I went back home, for, Zane is in four. When oh. I went back home for Rosh Hashanah, my in my parents' house in New Jersey, we had like three or four of my brothers' friends from high school come to the house. And I brought up, I was like, do you guys remember when the Jonas Brothers came and played at our high school? And like, they gave us CDs and they're like, yeah, I remember we all threw them against the, th like yeah, the story that I remembered this. word for word, we all recalled together. <laughs> and I was so validating. I, I forgot to bring this up to you guys, but like, it was. Haven't you been like, that didn't happen? I'm sure. With the Jonas Brothers? That they I came believe to play that, in my high school. I believe, I believe that. <laughs> we got to get Gaga in here. Wait, what yeah. Gaga yeah. story didn't happen? <laughs> that, well, I, I believe have you video. have a picture with Gaga. I have a video of her, me and her, like, hanging out. 
Yes, I'll show her, you the video. Mike, I know you've said this story many times, but you saying, I'm sorry, who are you? I don't know who you are. And she goes, you don't know who no, I, I am? I said, I didn't know Girls, any of your songs. Well, five, six, seven, eight. Ma, ma, ro, ma, ma. They did that for you in the moment? Yep. That never happened. I, like Dude, that part. Like 50 years from now, we're going to be at, well, hopefully longer than that. Like we'll be at Mike's funeral and then like yeah, Gaga's yeah. just going to show up and be like, my favorite memory of her. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's going to be like. Oh my. <laughs> Matt, oh. I don't think you understand that people that get to that level of like pop star singing, like whatever, there is a thing where musicians, all they want to do is play their music and show their music and like perform all of the time. It's in their thing to do. Like people do it. She's also extremely theatrical. Yeah. And there's a lot of cameras on her already because she was like in <laughs> this It VIP. was like in her like uh, hair in there. a bow like, it was it was the day before time. it was the it day was her lightning bolt era i guess the day but the show that she like told me to come to she's like oh you should come on playing tomorrow at the dorito stage and i was like sure it was the one where she like threw up all over herself or something and wore like a meat dress or something like, you're tying two different VMA things together, it was something but Matt, I, Matt's I, she didn't wear a meat lies. dress at one thing but she was did she puke at something like, I bet you, but she's puked a handful of times. It was like the first time she, she did that. Everybody pukes. Everybody. Not on stage. I, I could never puke on stage. No. Or, well, Are you scared I know of puking? It happens. I'm very scared of puking. I'll avoid trying to puke Me as too. long as I can. But, like, you see, like, Lil Huddy was like at Lollapalooza. He and he, like, puked and then, like, went up into the audience. And I was like, bro, Ew. that looks insane. But, I you know, accidents happen. I'm not making fun of him. Maybe for he was puking. really nervous. I think he, what he, that's what Aww. he said. It was just like nerves and adrenaline and all that. Me on the way here. I was so nauseous this morning. I'm on my period, so I think that's why. But I was, thank God I had an extra Zofran, but I thought I was going to blow Zofran guns. is amazing. It's amazing. It, what is that? It's, it's, an, it's a anti nausea. Yeah, it's just an anti nausea pill, and it works so fucking well. It's like the. They always give it to you at hospitals and stuff. I was is it good for like a hangover? Yeah, buddy. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how well Zofran works. Uh, we were in Manhattan. We partied really hard the night before. Like I had martinis, wine, beer. I had shots. I Usually when I mix it all up, that's when I'm super nauseous. I was walking across Manhattan. I was miserable. And Patricia's like, take a Zofran. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I took it. Felt like a million bucks after. The yeah. whole hangover went away. I'd it's be crazy. Granted, it's take medication properly. It is like prescri you have to get it prescribed. Yeah. But I correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the only reason you it's prescribed is because if you take too many of them, you can get like really constipated. Like oh, that's the yeah. only thing. Mm, but it was like a Wait, miracle so it's drug. not over the counter right now? No, but you can like literally do like a telehealth or like, I'll be like I know hey, I'm gonna be drinking this weekend. Can you prescribe me? <laughs> no, you're so like, I'm nauseous. Do you, are you is your are your hangovers nauseous or more exhaustion and dehydration? Every, all of it. Oh. Yeah, same. I nausea. I don't really thing. get nauseous. Uh, well, when I drink, like mix it all up. I'll Man, get it, nauseous. have you ever had a Zofran from like car sickness or anything or taking it for it? I bet that would help so much. If a you like Zofran? needed it or something. Yeah. Zofran. And like you put it like under your tongue and it just yeah. like, dissolves. So it absorbs like really acid. Fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I know there's, I keep seeing TikTok seeing them ads for like, it's basically Zofran. You can get like, I you can order it, it. So I think it's like, it's not like super like, I feel like it's kind of like birth control where like, yeah, you have to get it prescribed, but you can also just like mm. go on a website and fill out a thing and get it. I think it's for like now. Uh, yeah. yeah, for now. Pro 2025, going to take all that away. We're all just going to have a million babies. Just kidding. I'm going to take my own uterus out. I Have think. you seen this guy who, uh, it's you know, there's always like fun little weird businesses where someone will like, I don't know, you send your friend a rock and you can write a message on a rock or uh, <laughs> you send glitter bombs I'm to people. You a rock. There's yeah. a guy who will, you can hire him anonymously to show up to your workplace and look for the boss yes, and I give an that. oral complaint. Yes. Oh, what, oh, oh, a complaint? Yes. Yeah. And like he comes in with like a like a clipboard I'm and like looks all guys. official. He goes, who's the boss here? Okay. Yeah. We've gotten a lot of complaints about how you're running this business and like speaks on behalf of all the employees and will say just like, just give them That's a full on. That's so funny. Perfect for people who and, hate confrontation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. That is just for you people out there. That's what a union is for. If you can join a union. <laughs> join the union and don't play the New York Times crossword because they're on strike right now but that is insane yeah it's just <laughs> it's a, a brilliant business but like I like that the guy does that but like I could never like, do they have examples of him doing it like yeah. do they film it where he goes to yes and these people are like who the hell are you like stop talking yeah like, get out of here all of this stuff I just saw just that last night stands his ground and will just are you sick say it all no it's my allergies <laughs> 
Aaron's favorite. No, not me, TJ. Or I TJ's believe you. Favorite. You don't sound sick. No, it's just like when the weather changes and it gets dark, my yeah. body's just triggering to be like, something's changing. You have an allergic Trump reaction to something. Trump became president. Something's Honestly, changing. Yeah, yeah. That is just exhausting. I'm going to a Disney Channel uh, drinking games tonight. Wait, what? So you remember the Disney games? Yeah. Like where it was like Team Yellow, Team Red yeah. and all of that stuff. It's a, it's a party that uh, Pablo and Okay, Alex... not put on by Disney Channel. No. Okay, no. I literally was like Disney Channel official no. drinking. I was like, that's crazy. No, they literally. Do it every I was like, year, what? But it's insane the amount of like people that show up for it. I'm who on is Team it? Blue this year. Pablo and Alex. They're on TikTok. They're like the guys no who do, um, they'll, they'll like memorize a whole monologue from like a movie and then like recite it next to each other. They're pretty funny. It's never come um, across great my guys. Feet. But yeah, they're Wait, posting fun. time on Team Blue. You're doing that, that tonight? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. What else? And then a scavenger hunt tomorrow for Channing. <laughs> A scavenger hunt? Yeah, yeah, scavenger. All hunt. across LA? Yeah. A no, scavenger hunt through all of LA. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's just on the west side. I don't know. I'm, oh, okay, I'm excited. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. West Have you ever side. done a scavenger hunt? When I was like eight. Yeah. Yeah, I've done Not it, like yeah. in my adulthood. Around like uh, my school. Like find a pet number three pencil and you're yeah. like, okay, what would the fuck? That doesn't exist. Or like find Did a Ben Khan got a tattoo for a scavenger hunt one time to no, win what? Like, free Coachella tickets. Isn't that true? I don't know. I want to hear uh, this. Yeah. Zach Bryan got Brianna chicken fry tattooed on him after three days of meeting. Oh, oh boy. that's. I mean, that's a red flag right there. I yeah. mean, we watched the BFFs episode. I said to Aaron, I was like, do you think we're the only influencers like watching this as Not it comes a out? It was so interesting, like how manipulative Psycho. and insecure this I want to watch is. this. It's really, really good it's and interesting. It's crazy. It's she seems crazy. like a pretty normal, not influencery girl. Like, I love her. Yeah, like, she I don't gave me a hookup to Zach Bryan concerts one time when they were dating. She basically was saying like her that whole year, like she did not recognize herself and like she, her brain was rewired and he would yell at her and then apologize. Yeah, for that's morning, how abusive relationships abusive. work. Yeah. yeah, literally, he said that. So after the night that they had like the campfire on her birthday, and like his her friends were started to film him because he was just like acting so insane. Like his aunt had to like hold him, her Brianna's aunt had to hold him back from like the friend group because he was just screaming at everyone. And then after that, every time he would be with Brianna, like before she would go to bed, he would take out his phone and film her and be like, "Oh, do you care that I'm filming you? Since all your friends love to do that to me, just like absolute insane stuff." And you're gonna love this, she said. One time, oh. they're in their New York apartment. I wonder who he voted for. Probably he yeah. didn't. If they're in their New York I apartment. I he can. Why? Why? Because he's a felon? Oh. Wasn't he? Oh. I think he was born in Japan. Well, or, he, or, well, I don't know. Actually, he was a military baby, so he probably can. I don't know. Uh, okay, sorry. What no were you going to say? What was I going to love? Oh, he, she said that she was like watching TikTok, and you know the song that's like, last night we let the liquor talk. It's like a Morgan Wallen song. Okay. It's just like, oh, always a country TikTok. artist. Yeah. And so it's like stuck in her head. So she was like walking through the house about to like make food or something. And she was just like saying it out loud. And he was like, never sing another man's song <gasps> under my roof. Again. Oh, this guy is She oh. said it was a fight for a, a week. week. Yeah, that's toxic and people. And he was like, you can't listen to Noah Khan. You listen to him too much. Yeah, insane. You should watch it. It's super fucking interesting. It I'm works glad. on she, YouTube. So she turned down twelve million dollars to be like he was like, basically his team tried to have her sign an NDA and give her twelve million dollars, like not talk about it. So that's why she's like, no, I'm going to talk about it. Damn. Yeah. I will definitely watch this episode because the toxic people are really good at being toxic. That's yeah. the crazy part. I know. Is, I know. Like, how are they so good at doing things? That are that manipulative. The, I think it's the love bomb that gets them. Yeah. Gets but like, she said I for the first four months, it was like, love amazing. bomb, love bomb, love bomb. Like, he loves me. This is so great. And then just like one day, he switched. Just like, but like, she never I don't know if I could be, be able, like, if you were like, okay, Mike, we're going to give you a million dollars and you need, you need to like yell and scream and be toxic to a person and have them not leave you. I would be like, I don't know if I can do that. Like, yeah. Yeah. the person would just leave. But you're not a narcissist. Is that what it is? Is narcissism that makes you yeah, yeah and too. like abuse. But how does he know how to say the things that makes her stay, but also be fucking evil? Like because it's it's a cycle. It's like a he'll pattern. be so fucking nice, and then like he'll get set off and be like, "You're the scum of the earth. I hate you. I don't want to be with you." And then in the morning, it's like, "I'm so sorry, baby. Like, I'll I do love anything so much. Yeah. Like Here's we're soulmates." Yeah. yeah, that was like the yeah. I did date a girl. I was like, that. I bet too is alluring as well. Of you know, course, you're of private course. jets all around yeah. and seeing and meeting everybody you had yeah. wanted to meet your wildest dreams. I mean, 
But I, I like she her... said that they would literally. So they he bought the house in Duxbury, Massachusetts. This is all public, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. This is what you guys like, heard from her. Okay. Her story, but we're safe to talk. I think about it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's public. Um, we're on her side. She. <laughs> He bought a $10 million house in Duxbury, Massachusetts, which is like, she's from Boston. It's like close to her family. He's like, I want to build a life with you here. She said they would do video, like vlogs, speaking to their future children. Oh, maniac. Like, yeah. Oh. Like he fully like brainwashed her yeah. into believing like this will be our life together. I love you so much. Like yeah. she went to buy a car and he was like, no, like Let you're not buy buying it. the car. I'm paying for it. And she's like, no, you don't have to. Like, I'm excited. I'm buying my car. He's like, no. And like that is an abuser. Like he wants to control everything in her life oh my goodness he tried to pay her she got a renewal of her barstool contract and he was like i'll pay you double to quit and then dave was like <laughs> or no dave that was it the 12 million dollar thing that Dave was like i'll pay her that talk about it um he was saying that in the sense of because her lawyers started um like fumbling a little bit mm -hmm. and so he was like you're lying i know you can wire her right now like i'll wire oh, right now yeah. to prove that like yeah. you're a fucking idiot and you're just stalling yeah. wow this. this sounds like a really good episode of it's, it's so it interesting crazy, yeah and i'm glad that she i mean yeah i was sitting out. there when they said 12 million dollars i was like girl i don't know, <laughs> no, I know. I know. Well, what would you guys do if like you know you're super super public and someone was i mean it's harder because you guys are men i think but like Twelve a million dollars. I, don't know. I mean, you also I don't have know. to take saying yeah. No, I think she made the right decision. Of I course, think completely. Yeah, would I, think I take the twelve million? I really don't know. <laughs> it also depends. She also has like her own platform. She has yeah. her own career. She's but like she can. You have to. She take doesn't it. need it. At that time, though, it was like the downfall of Brianna Chicken Fry. Like when. People started turning on her? Yeah, like right before the breakup. Then they broke up. Then it became public. And like everyone online was like, fuck this girl because of like outside things. But so like if you were given $12 million while you think like, oh, like this might not even be here tomorrow because everyone hates me right now. Like I literally don't know what I would do. Yeah. I, I saw and Dave and Josh were like, take the money. <laughs> like everyone around her was like, take the money. Take him for all he's worth, but. But she was I'm like, proud of her. That's crazy. Yeah. Did, wait, did, would she get the money and the house too? Like, so <laughs> no, they, she could have got different, like, 22. At one point, they, so like, there were like a ton of negotiations. At one point, they were like, we'll buy you a house. We'll get you this like uh, uh, apartment in New York. Oh, we'll give you $12 million. So I think there was like tons of back and forth. Oh, boy. But it's crazy because she was like, I'm not going to like, I'm going to speak on like my experience. There's a lot of really bad things that he did that I'm just like not going to share because my purpose isn't here to like ruin his character. It's just like I want like people to know that like this is what abuse looks like, yes. whether or not you think that. Um, and like I just want people to know that. Yeah, it's it is good to know what abuse looks like because. You don't realize, you don't realize it when it. it's happening. It happened yeah. to me when I was in New York and I visited Matt one time and then he broke to me the news that I was dating an oh, abusive right. person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, wow, that's fucking crazy. And it's a, it is like the same. It's like, I love you. You're the greatest person ever. And then it's like, oh, do you want to watch this show? And I'd be like, mm, I think I've seen this episode. How fucking dare you? Are you fucking kidding me? This is the only thing I wanted to do all fucking yeah. day. And now you're like, you're and the hot and cold. But then the next morning. Hey, are you still on for lunch, babe? I love you so much. Can't wait to see you. And you're just like, what the fuck is going on yeah, here? Yeah. She was like, I never knew. Like, this yes. is a prime example. She, when she went to the Golden Globes, she oh. wore a dress and like, she was so excited. She was sending him pictures of herself and he was like, you look beautiful, whatever. And then like an hour after she was there, he starts texting her being like, basically like, you're a little slut. You're not allowed to wear this dress. This is so disrespectful to me. Ugh. While simultaneously reposting her Instagram content on his story being like, wow, my girl so beautiful. Oh. Crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Not good. Hopefully he's uh, loser. Is that Brian? You are a loser. loser. Hopefully he gets some therapy and uh, takes some time off and rewires his brain to be yeah. normal because that's not normal. In like every, it's so weird. Like my feed last night afterwards just started turning into like Zach, Bre Zach Bryan, you could never make me hate you. Like listen to how beautiful his music is because he knew the episode was coming out and then at the same time released a new song. I mean, it's smart. This guy's got a like, smart team. He, Mm, I don't think so. Well, they, think they were strategic. Trying, yeah, strategic. I think he's just a narcissist. It's like, okay, you're then posting a song that you wrote a year and a half ago and you're trying to like insinuate is about like your and Brianna's relationship. 
Damn. And it's called High Road. What? I thought my zipper had been undone the whole episode, but it's just the top. Um, well, thanks so much for Carly and Aaron so for joining we had us. And on that abrupt of a note. But, uh, <laughs> Fuck no. you, Zach Bryan. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out for an extra. This was yeah, so great. Thank you guys so much of for course. coming Where on. Where are you going to take us to lunch? Oh, we're doing lunch after this? <laughs> I need food. We need payment. I need, uh, yeah, I need, I need payment. to go and work. But thank you guys no, so much for watching boring. this episode. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, like, comment, leave a review. Your support means the world. And if you like this vibe and you've never listened to Good Influences, go check out that. We have tons of episodes and we cover a huge range of topics. And it's a good time. Thank you so much. Love you. We'll see you next Bye. time.